Every time I think about it, can't stop thinking about it How much longer will it take to cure this? Just to cure it, cause I can't ignore it If it's love, love makes me wanna turn around and face me But I don't know nothing about love Oh, come on, come on We're your anchors, Matt and Clay, and we're ready to bring you up to date with the latest and greatest in Red Storm news. Today we will take a look at Virtual School Days announced The upcoming chicken sale Spring musical auditions The FFA toy show And a whole lot more, so don't go away. We'll be right back. If you think anything about our show could be better, let us know. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or a story you want on air, contact us on LJH Digital Storm website. This year, Lincoln is putting on the musical Shrek. To sign up for an audition, the sheets are located on the auditorium doors. Tryouts for any role will be held next Monday on March 2nd and Tuesday, March 3rd. The auditions will be after school at 3.30. Auditions will include singing 30 seconds of capella, or bringing your own music in addition to singing, you may have to read scenes from the play. This Sunday, the FFA Toy Show starts from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the high school main gym. Come by to visit the vendors and booths filled with new and collectible items. There will, be, there will also be food, a silent and live auction. The live auction will be at 3 p.m. and it costs $2 per person. 12 and under are free. See Mr. Watts if you have any questions. Computers will start staying here at school tomorrow. We will keep them here at, at, at the testing rooms and through Wednesday of next week. Make sure to bring your chargers every day so you do not have, to, you do not have a dead computer for testing. ISTAT practice tests will be taken this year in math and humanities. There are two math tests and three humanities ELA activities. Practice tests are not timed. The state is suggesting that teachers use these practice tests as teaching opportunities. All materials are ready for pickup. Let's rock the test this year, Lincoln. The PEA chicken sale is this Friday. Many of you p purchased tickets, signed up to work, or volunteered to bake items. If you are bringing a bite baked item for the sale, please have it in the teacher's lounge at Plymouth High School by 3 on Friday. Items can always be dropped off early. This April, we'll be having virtual days to make up the days of school that we have missed. A virtual day consists of completing online assignments given by teachers on designated Saturdays. More information will be coming soon. Now it's time to go to Grant in the Corner for our most incredible Red Storm sports, weather, and lunch. How's it going, Grant? Thanks, guys. I'm doing great. But before I start with our sports and lunch, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union, where becoming a member is like becoming part of a family. For sports here at Lincoln, we have some good news and bad news. The good news is that on Tuesday night, our 8th grade girls basketball team defeated Edgewood by 10 points. The bad news is, is that our 7th grade girls lost a tough one by 12 points. Our b our ladies are back in action tonight versus Lakeview, so come out and cheer them on. Our young Rocky wrestlers are also back in action tonight at Bremen, so give them a good look. So give them good luck before they leave after school. For tomorrow's lunch, our wonderful lunch ladies will be preparing us the most wonderful quesadilla, salsa, green beans, and your choice fruit with some of the most refreshing cold cow milk. Now taking a look at the weather window, it looks it looks like today we're gonna have some snow and a low of five, and it looks like this weekend we're gonna we're gonna have a sunny day on Saturday and we're gonna have some more snow on Sunday. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union, guiding the way since 1931. Thanks, Grant. We have two birthdays today here at Lincoln. Patrick Miley and Jaden Haynes. Happy birthday from all of us here at PTV2. I bet that some of you viewers are adventurers. Well, on Lake Michigan, people are beginning to explore ice caves that form on the frozen waters of the lake. Let's take a look at these photos. 
Eric LaPaul lives in Glen Arbor and says when he saw the mounds forming on Lake Michigan, he knew he would find something great if he braved the cold. There are mounds that you can you can see from the shore, and that's kind of where you might be able to see, well, that could be an ice cave. Let's go check it out. And once he made the trek out onto the frozen waters of Lake Michigan, he found this. I thought it was amazing. Um, it, it isn't that big and the opening's quite small, but when you get in here, it opens up and these amazing icicles like stalagmites hanging down is what really caught my attention because not all, every ice cave is the same. And if you do go out searching for ice caves on Lake Michigan, you never know what you could find. That's the thing with Mother Nature. You never know what she's going to create. It's beautiful. You have to go out there and get adventurous and get off the beaten path and, and find your adventure. Find, find something like this. Um, if you're on the beaten path, all you're going to see is the beaten path. Wow, I can't believe that places like that are so close to our homes. I would love to explore one of those ice caves. Yeah, we could take a field trip there if we really wanted to. So let's see what we've learned today. Keep cheering on our Lincoln sports teams. The FFA Toy Show is just around the corner. The new virtual days are coming up in April. Computers are staying at school. The PEA chicken sale Friday. Auditions for the musical on March 2nd and 3rd. I step testing next week. Sleep well and eat a big breakfast. We'd now like to thank our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union, where banking has never been easier. Tune in for tomorrow's show. Thanks for stopping by. Come, come.